Hey guys, how's it going? This is Joe with JWT Auto Repair again. Today we're working on a 1998 Ford F-150. Um, it's got the 5.4 Triumph V8. Uh, we're doing a heater core in it today, so basically the way I did it is I took off all this right here. I had to get down into um, where actually where the bottom of it probably. I don't know if you can see the heater core. Connections you have to unhook the hoses um, Get them unhooked from in there so that you're able to remove that heater core I'll kind of show you if I could show you right where they go at uh, Right back in there Let's see if we move this out of the way real quick Right back in there you got some Right there you can see it just a little bit right there Right there that's your heater core. You got two hoses that connect to there. You have to remove those out of the way to get that heater core off. Once you do that, um, you also have to remove the dash and that stuff. I removed the dash. I took it off right here. Kind of just unconnected it, put it over here onto the seat. There's that other part over there. Took off the cluster, airbag, all that. Before you start any of this, I recommend you do unhook the negative battery cable. Um, here is our heater core, right here as you can see, I don't know if you guys could see it right there. See all that cooling on it where it was leaking and stuff, so we're going to replace it. It goes to the firewall right there. Um, you will have to unconnect the vacuum hose, I believe this is part of it right here. And you have another end over here. These connect together in here. Um, you got... Uh, bolt here, um, one here, one here, one right here, another one right here. You also have one on the bottom right here. Um, you got one up here, one over there, there. Um, I don't know if you can see this other one, probably come up from the top. You have one basically right these relays out of my way real quick I'll show you. you got one right here and you have another one right here so you have to remove all those and then of course you got this which is your um, door actuator that sits here um, opens and closes and stuff like that but you have to remove that in order to get this heater core off um, once that we got all that going we'll remove the heater core we'll put it all back on um, we do got the new heater core. I'll show you it real quick. So this is the heater core that we're using um, for this. I'll show you, uh, there is a part number here. Part number 93001 is the one we're gonna be using. Um, basically this is our new heater core right here. Be the new one right here this little guy here got this there there part number again so just be careful when installing it you don't put a hole in it or anything like that but for the most part this will be our new guy that put right there there it is leaking um, like I said there's a lot of stuff you have to take off to do this job but uh, make sure when you do pull up this cover right here you got a little tab here you got another one over back here I don't know if you can see it right there when you take this off you have to lift up on it um, kind of might have to these here I just went ahead and took off they're just a relay box that that they screws go into there I took those off just because when you lift that door up if not it's a real tight fit um, there's another tube that goes through here as well that came off but that is the way uh, 